there mortals, I'm Yinsen, welcome back to Undertale Pacifist. We're gonna have to do a little bit of backtracking, we need to get back to the MTT Resort, and the reason for this is that we need to uh, kind of riz Alphys, I suppose. So this is the core, this is way, way too far ahead of where we want to be. What is this? This is a new room. Isn't it? Oh no, that's a fight with Metaton. Great, so that was the corridor that we were walking down with Alpha specifically. I'm gonna go ahead and do a save. You're filled with determination. Excellent. I'm also filled with trash, I think. Trashy burgers and such. Okay, this is the entrance of the core. I theorize this is where Gaster died. This is the hotel, so. Around here, we will get a phone call from an old friend. I won't spoil anything too much. What does this say? Is this just the note that says go down the creepy alleyway? Yep, definitely. For some great deals. I don't particularly want to, to be quite honest. Now we've got to walk around here a little bit. I think we're just trying to trigger the sequence that we're actually after, but I'm not entirely sure how we would trigger it. Oh, there's a naked gingerbread man with four nipples right here. Gross. Wait, did you do the Undyne hideout? I already have, yes. In fact, we have also fought Miss Muffet, and we have also... I think Sans gave us the go-ahead for Pacifist, but we still need to riz a couple of people before we can actually uh, get golden, I suppose. Have all of our debt settled. I'm just not entirely sure where this... <laughs> this guy's perpetually cleaning up after himself. I'm not entirely sure where this phone call is supposed to trigger. Do we, do we have to call them ourselves? Let's see. Pepperus. Ring, ring. Careful, I've heard that hotel has a dog problem. Oh, no pets allowed, huh? I'm not talking about pets. What's the problem? The problem is dog. What's wrong with dogs? Not all dogs, just that one. What's wrong with it? Everything. Okay, so he's probably talking about good old Toby Fox right there, right? Let's see if we can't hook ourselves up to a room of some sort. Yes, we know. The elevator to the city is not working because of this incident. Rooms are running at a special rate. 200 gold room. Are you interested? Yes, I am. Fabulous. We'll escort you to your room. You should have already got the phone call, but mm, yeah, I know. It's a little bit sus, isn't it? Okay, we've fallen out. I don't think we can get back in. No, we cannot. But can we call someone from here? I just spent uh, 30 bucks getting here. My HP is 30 out of 20. Weird. Okay, let's call him. Ring, ring. You'll have your own hotel room. Hey, let's throw a room party. We can order a pizza and stay up all night playing games. Party games? Like the six-legged race? Nah, like Pillow Fight the Skeleton. Like, hey, no pillows from the couch. Oh, okay. Hey, no entire couch. <laughs> Too late. Wow. Pepperus didn't think that one through, did he? Okay, so you're right, Hypercake. We should have actually had this phone call by now. I'm gonna go ahead and Google what the actual trigger for it is. Undertale. Pacifist. Uh, phone call. From, what's the name? Pepperus, right? Pepperus. Okay. I found a Reddit post, question about a certain phone call. So, maybe we need to go to the lab. Maybe we need to go to the lab and actually trigger it from the uh, perspective of ourselves. Because I know that Undyne wants us to bring her, a, uh, bring her a note. No, bring him a note. Elphus is a dude. Okay, should just be over this way over here. I'm even willing to go all the way back to the, oh, what is it called? The, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the house, her house. All right, this is that puzzle. We don't want to go down here. That's a huge backtrack. Let's just take the elevator. I think that's going to be the best way. This guy's still gobsmacked that I remembered his name. Wow. What a guy. He's not made to be a streamer. Let's select a location. Okay, so one of these is the lab. It might be left floor two. Elphus is a girl. Every time I, every time I'm like certain about the gender of Alphys, it changes. That's the core. I'm not sure if this is where we want to be, is it? 
Now, I theorize this is where Gaster died, and there's this little pixel floating around kind of down here. I'm pretty sure that's Gaster. All right, where are we? Oh, the puzzle room. Yuck, let's leave this place. Immediately gonna gap it out of here. We actually, we wanna be away from here as soon as humanly possible, don't we? We don't wanna be here at all. Okay. Still kinda like uh, looking at the side for any kind of useful information. Maybe right floor. Maybe the right floor is the one. Because we did have one of the first floors available right at the start. We just couldn't access the elevator itself. I don't think this is it. Nope, that's... Is that where we just came out at? That's so strange. Okay, let's try right floor two. I love that the cancel button is over the one that you're actually currently on. That's clever. That, that is actually a clever way of uh, kind of stopping the player from cocking themselves up. Okay, that's Sand Snow Hut right there. I remember we are very, very close to the entrance here. But I'm not entirely sure how close. What if we just keep going down? Nothing happens. I'm backtracking a little bit. I'm not entirely sure if this is the right way or not. But we are going to find out. Yeah, this is where Alpha's kept on interrupting us with the phone calls. She cost us lots. Uh, we don't want to go ahead, though. So we were going forward here. Got to be an additional way for us to go then, if that's the case. We went down. There's nothing down. I think there was um, the... I think it was an armor set that was down there. Oh no, we've been attacked. The rare and threatening Double Davis. Really? Okay, let's uh, call him down. No, let's heat him up. You crank up the thermostat. Pyro begins to get excited. Okay, let's start dodging these. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Oop, took a took a bomb right to the face right there. Pyro wants more heat. I do have 26 out of 20 HP. What? That is so strange. All right, let's go ahead and hit him. Oh, okay. You invite him to hang out. Thank you, get, thank you, controller. Thank you, controller, for uh, costing me that that selection. Okay, that's good. Let's go ahead and heat it up. You crank up the thermostat. It's super hot. Pyro looks satisfied. Excellent. That is wonderful to hear. I actually adore how well that went. Good. Excellent. Okay, so we can now mercy one of them, or both of them at once. Nice. We got 90 buckery boost for that. There is a possibility you need to complete the neutral route again, so just go to Asgore. The flowy fight will probably be skipped and then load your save file back and backtrack. I'll try actually going to the laboratory first, and then I'll fight Asgore, because we are essentially up to Asgore, and if, we, if the lab is a bust, I can just reload a save, and we'll be at that place. Okay, what are we looking at? That's that guy. So all of the rightmost floors are wrong. We'll try the left ones. What is this one? Let's see. This is not where we want to be, I don't think. It's gonna No, this is where we want to be. This is exactly where we want to be. Good, so laboratory. There's no response. Okay. We're definitely gonna have to go and fight the old dreamer then. Let's go do that. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna alt for it. I'm gonna uh, load the save that we already saved the game at. Right here. Done. So the, sh the save that's already default on this game right here should actually be the one that we kind of left at. Yeah, it is. Good. Okay, so this is the Metaton fight. Maybe we weren't exactly outside of him. But we do have to go down this hallway anyway. We were pretty close to him. We are pretty close to him, I think. Yeah, so I did complete the neutral route, but I deleted the save because I didn't quite know if we could do like New Game Plus or anything like that, unfortunately. That's all well and good if we can't, though. It's absolutely fine. Doesn't bother me whatsoever. Okay, we're at the city now. We could probably actually just take this elevator up, can't we? Yes. Yes, we can. I'm, I'm actually going to save here right here. Done. We got the, uh, the pacifist uh, kind of like confirmation, however, by Sands the first time we came in here. Yep. We're probably about to get it again. Here he is again. Oh, you deleted the save? That explains it. Yeah, it didn't let me, like, start a new game or anything like that. It just kept on... It only allowed me to load the save right at the end of the last game that I played. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the entire future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. 
You'll be judged for your every action. This guy's kind of like Anubis, isn't he? You'll be judged for every XP you've gained. What's experience? It's an acronym. It stands for execution points. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for level of violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now, but you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, so as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. All right. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Wait a second. That look on your face while I was talking. You've already heard my spiel, haven't you? I suspected something like this. You're already acting like you know what's going to happen. Like you've seen it all before, so... I have a request for you. I kind of have a secret code word that only I know. So I know if someone tells it to me, they'll have to be a time traveler. Crazy, right? Anyway, here it is. Whisper, whisper. I'm counting on you to come back here and tell me that. See you later. Oh, what? What? Wait, I forgot the sand secret new dialogue. After this, don't save and reload for more sand dialogue in a secret room. Okay, I will not, I will not save. And a secret room. Where's the secret room? It's probably uh, next to Asgore, right? Hello? Throne room. Is this the, the throne room? What else is down here? There was actually something down here last time uh, I checked, and it definitely rewarded us greatly for it. Oh, is this new? This? No, okay, so. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Mercy. It's empty. So all of these souls right here, all of these souls are different, I don't want to say children because they may have just all been kind of like humans and that's all they had in common, but they were different like types of soul. Now the first one that came down here, Kara, I'm pretty sure that her soul is black. I think that Gaster was studying her soul in some kind of attempt to kind of like dispel the barrier. And her soul was blackened, and as soon as Gaster found this out, he wrote Entry 17, and she pushed him into the core. It'll give you something if you reload and talk to him. Oh, really? So if I just, like, uh, leave the game now. How do you leave the game from here? Do I just alt here 4 I'm going to trust you on this. I'm going to trust you on this, my, my dude. Do I alt here 4 I feel like I have to alt here 4 right? Wait, I did already talk to him. But I didn't save. That's weird. Maybe that changes his uh, value on the config. Yeah? Okay. Ulti 4. Done. Enjoy my Doom wallpaper for just a brief second before I restart the game. Ender Tear Kimming Kretip. There it is. Good. Okie dokie. Let's see what the secret holds. Yes. Sans. Sans, my Dizzle. I, I got a I got a password for you. Is it boobs? But like eight zero zero eight five. Three o'clock. So you finally made it, huh? Do you have something to say to me? What? A cold word? Can you speak a little louder? Did you just say I'm a stupid doo doo butt? Wow, I can't believe you would say that. Not only is that completely infantile, but it's also my secret code word. <laughs> that, however, isn't good enough. What you need is the secret secret code word. It's only for people that know the secret code word. Anyway, here it is. Wimpspa, wimpspa. I'm counting on you to come back here and tell me that. See you later. I stumbled upon this by complete accident, by the way. It was literally just a... a 
by complete chance that I found out that this is even a thing. This is cool. I act, I, games that have these kind of secrets in them, I utterly adore them in every single way, shape and form. Okay, here we are. Here we are. I think we were missing somebody on the intro screen as well. I can't remember who. But there was supposed to be someone to the left of all the characters as well. Hello, Spans. Ecans. Whatever your name is. I have a secret code word for you. You're going to love it. So you finally made it. Huh? Do you have something to say to me? What? A code word? Can you speak a little louder? Did you just say I'm the legendary fart master? Wow. That's, uh, really childish. I am actually. Here, this is my superpower. Check this out. <laughs> Crazy, huh? Superpower. Why would you think that was a secret, secret code word? Whoever told you that is a dirty liar. I don't have a secret, secret code word. However, I do have a secret, secret, triple secret code word, which you just said. So, I guess you're qualified. Here's the key to my room. It's time. You learned the truth. When you looked, the key was already on your keychain. He is elevated above the game. He is just like Jibble and Spamton. So he's got something to do with this kind of like the battle that's going on between these, these elevated NPCs and Toby Fox. I'm back from going to leave soon. That's fine, Tail. You do you. So where is the room? It's got to be like at the end of here, right? Or even further down. I got the key. Yeah, yeah, I got the key. I'm just not entirely sure what it's for. Oh, wait, uh, is it like a door right at the start of the game? Now that key is for San's room. What, like his bedroom? No shot. Okay, let's see how the, how the boner lives. Let's see how they live. Go to San's room. Okay, we'll go back to Snowden Town, right? That's the place. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. We'll go all the way back. I'm excited. I'm excited. More Sans lore. Because Sans is kind of like one of those threads that I never pulled on. I, I know he's like quite an integral to the, the overall story that is above the gameplay that we actually play. Because there is story above the game where kind of Toby Fox is, is programming into the game. And, you know, Spamton, Jevil, Sans, they all kind of uh, intermingle in this one area. All right, we're going to go all the way back. Whoops. We want to go... Where do we want to go? It was uh, left one, wasn't it? Left one is... Wait, where the hell is this? Where the hell is this? Oh, this is Elphys's, uh dungeon, isn't it? Where he kind of like... He stalks us for a while and then he, he has a breakdown and he tells us he's got crippling anxiety. Which kind of sucks for him. I know what it's like. I actually beat anxiety, which is pretty crazy. Although I use something called uh, medication to do so, so... You know, it might be a little bit cheaty. Okay, we're exiting the core. We're exiting the pyramid where Gas died. Oh, that slaps. The whole soundtrack of this game slaps. I love it so much. All right, so we're going out of the core now. No, that's not out of the core. We probably want to... Okay, so this is where we go to left one. Stream is lagging for me. Uh, it's, that's not me, that's you. Okay, we'll please select a location. Left floor one. You need to interact with stuff put in his room to find a key, then go behind his house and interact with Scouse. Okay, I'll do that. I was wondering what that door was for. This is the entrance. Good. And we didn't come... Oh, Karen. Yes. We want to talk to Karen right here. Tra la la Here for a ride? Yes, I will take a ride in the boat. We will be going to Snowden. Karen, if you will ferry me across the river Acheron. I'm sorry I have no obols to pay you with, but I do have sparkling conversation to give you. That is a magnificent condom you are wearing. Tra la la, what's my name? It's Karen. It's Karen. The ferryman of the underworld. All right, wonderful. Come again sometime. Tra la la, that's a, a Greek reference, by the way. That's, that's a Greek mythos. That is too high. We want to go down one. And past the library, we want to go into the next house, don't we? Hello there, fellows. Hey, punk. What's up? Achoo. Papyrus, how can you stand this cold? I have no skin. So why don't we stand in grillbies instead? Because I hate grease. 
But you don't have a stomach. No, but I have standards. Okay, I'm gonna go raid your house now, buddy old pal. Okay, let's see what's in this room. This, this sands room right here. You unlock the door and enter. Ah, uh, ploppers. Oh no. Oh, I can't go back. I can only go forward. Oh! Oh! Sans, have you seen my? Oh, hello, you aren't Sans. Wait a second. Why were you using a treadmill in the dark? Is Sans pranking you across time and space? I hate it when he does that. How immature can you get? Also, have you seen my action figures? Wait, I know where to look. In my collection. Ha ha ha. Sometimes I'm a genius. All the time. Okay, good. It's a treadmill. There's a message attached. That actually jump scared as well. The truth is that you got owned, nerd. Really? Is it going to change? No. Weird. Weird indeed. It appears to be a self-sustaining tornado made of trash. Okay, so it seems like he's a really powerful magician of some sort. Could it actually be that he is the one keeping the barrier alive? Because it doesn't make sense that human mages are keeping it alive because humans are not able to uh, maintain magic. It's a worn mattress. The sheets are bunched up in a weird, creasy ball. Ugh. It's an uncovered pillow. Fine. It's a thank you letter. It's addressed to Santa. What is this? It's a lamp. Turn it on. Yes. There's no light bulb. A flashlight is stuck in the bulb socket. Turn it on. Yes. The flashlight is out of batteries. Oh. Inside the drawer is a silver key. You put it on your keychain. Okay, let's check out the rest of this place. This godforsaken hellhole. I wonder why the uh, bottom of his bedroom is burning. Wait, what the hell was this? This rock is... Okay, that was the the pet rock that uh, Papyrus feeds. So now, uh, if the chat is anything to go by, we've got to go behind his house, right? You unlocked the door and entered. Ah, uh, whoa. Ooh, there's a photo album inside the drawer. There are photos of Sands with a lot of people you don't recognize. He looks happy. You look in the drawer. There's some kind of badge. Can I have it? Some kind of badge. Righty ho. Blueprints. You can't read the symbols they're written in. Or maybe it's just the handwriting. Looks like they relate to some kind of strange machine. That's gotta be the core, right? That's gotta be Gaster's, Gaster's thing. Blueprints. You can't read the symbols they're written in. Or maybe it's just the handwriting. Okay. Looks like they relate to some kind of strange machine. Gotcha. There's a strange machine behind the curtain. It seems to be broken. Really? Really? Okay. Why'd I do that? Why, why did I do that? There's a machine and it appears to be broken. Maybe it's a... Uh, something to contain... Power? This is very sterile and lab-like. This is what I was expecting would be behind the kind of like one-way mirrors that were back in the back in Toriel's house. Okay, it's just a strange machine. Weird. Weird indeed. There's a photo album inside the drawer. There are photos of Sans with a lot of people, and he's happy. Good on him. Huh, Papyrus? Oh, hey! You're leaving soon, right? Don't come here to say goodbye! Goodbyes aren't allowed in my town. Just see you later. Weird. I'm gonna really quickly look this up and see if there isn't something that I can do to continue. All right, we'll look up Sans' back room. Sans' back room. What is behind Sans' house? Oh. Okay, so apparently that's supposed to be a time machine, but I have absolutely no idea where anybody would have gotten that information from because it was just a broken machine. Unless Sans is just like some kind of time wizard. 
Which, you know, realistically, he very well could be. Tra la la care for a ride? Yes, let's go ahead and ride the River Acheron up to the Hotlands. Then we're off! Okay, we're gonna go and fight what's-his-face, Asgore. We're gonna go and try and take on Asgore. Wow, we are absolutely gapping it. Look at this thing. Pet, pet, pet. The neck stretches infinitely into the cosmos. Don't worry about it. We haven't seen the dialogue from the waterfall, have we? I'm not sure we have. I don't think we have. Weird. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Let's go ahead and try the waterfall then. Yes. Waterfall, please. I want to see the dialogue. And he bolts it. Bye bye, doggo. Man, look at him go. Okay, tra la la. Beware of the man who speaks in hands. Beware of the man who speaks in hands. That's not like a typo for sans, is it? Speaks in hands. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Okay, we're going to go back to the Hotlands from here. Beware of the man who speaks in hands. Go to the Hotland. Then we're off. That is such a confusing riddle. I have no idea what that could possibly mean. Hum, hum, hum. Hum, hum, hum. I'm having a little concert. Okay, that wasn't <laughs> terribly interesting. Okay, uh, just really quickly, I'm going to make sure that this... What the hell is going on with the streams? Yeah, it's still going. Uh, unfortunately, I'm looking at my streaming software and it's telling me I'm broadcasting, but uh, YouTube's telling me that I'm not. That's weird. Huh. All right. I'm restarting the stream. What the hell? What the actual hell? Thanks, YouTube. Uh, for anybody uh, at home, YouTube just cancelled my stream for me uh, with no warning or any explanation whatsoever. So I'm going to restart that. All right, let's open this back up again. So we've got to go back to Asgore now. Here we go. Coming all the way. Don't want to go up there just yet. And we still haven't got the phone call from Papyrus. No response. Okay. Let's go ahead. We'll just fight Asgore. We'll see what we have got going for us here. Okay. Please select a location. Uh, we want to go to the right floor three, probably, is the most likely one to actually give us something, right? What the hell is going on with my streaming software? Okay, I'm going to ignore the stream from now on. Let's just try and fight Asgore, and then I will upload this as a video. That's way back at the st or is it? Way back at the start. In here. No, we actually want to go through here, don't we? Okay, wonderful. Down here is the core. It's kind of a creepy area, isn't it? I'd say it's probably a really, really creepy area, honestly. Okay, let's go ahead, get into this elevator. We'll pop out here, which is kind of like Asgore's room. No, this was Metaton's fight. Good. So we should be in a pretty good place now. Sorry, my streaming software is just absolutely spamming me with notifications. And none of the notifications are actually saying anything useful. Okay, let's go ahead. We'll go up. Oh, what's going on now? I'm sorry, VOD guys. This is so weird. Okay. Go ahead. We will hit this button right here. Oh, I think I know what's going wrong. I think my best friend is home and he's probably downloading some massive game on Steam right now because he never disables throttling. He, he never turns off the, uh, the thing that chokes up all of the internet for an entire household, which is a, a, a little bit of a sad thing to do, but at the same time, what do you do? What do you do about it? Okay. So busting on through here. The city is still pretty strange, isn't it? It's like very lively, but at the same time, there's no one here. There's no one in any of these buildings. We can't actually see any faces in the buildings or anything like that. So this is Toriel's house. No, As this is Asgore's house. And we want to go down through the basement, don't we? Because we've seen all the lore here in the last episode. So I don't think we went through here last time, did we? 
I'm not sure if we did. I'm back again, hey tail. Sorry, I don't know what was going wrong with the stream, but I think YouTube actually just cancelled my stream without asking me or telling me anything, so... Not really something I could influence. Very strange. Okay, we're going through more of the city. I'm scanning the distance like crazy to see if there's not like a face in any of the windows or even like any recognition of life. And there doesn't really appear to be whatsoever. Wow, that slaps. Okay. Did that just take me back down to the start? Maybe. That's weird. Yeah, it is a little bit weird. It's a little bit weird, but, you know, YouTube have this uh, kind of auto-moderation thing going on. Sometimes it... I think I just got misflagged. Okay. Wait, did we just go backwards? Are we walking the same path? I walk a lonely road. The only road that I have ever known. Okay, we've seen all the lore here. We know we've seen all the lore here. Remember to go to Sans room? I did, you missed it. Um, it was a broken time machine. It was a broken time machine in there and a bunch of blueprints for stuff. Now, I'm getting time machine literally pulled out of my ass. The internet told me it was a time machine. Interact with everything in his room? I did. I did. Yeah, uh, so the stream cut out a little bit. Yeah, I'll have to watch that in the recordings. But I found kind of like a time machine behind the house. It was covered up. It was broken. And I don't know why people are saying it's a time machine, because there's no evidence of it actually being a time machine. Maybe it's... Maybe the asset in the actual game files is listed as time machine. Just go down here. Okay. So we're in the church now. We're really, really close to Asgore. We're going to fight Asgore. We're going to kick his ass. And we're going to uh, completely invalidate this uh, pacifist run we've been going for. Still very strange. We haven't got a single phone call from Papyrus. I'm pretty sure we were supposed to get that. Uh, that's Flowey. Let's go ahead and save first. Okay, bye-bye, music. I think this is Flowey. No, this is Asgore. So maybe Flowey was kind of like... Dum-dee-dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. I think Flowey is a byproduct of Asgore. Here we are. Howdy. How can I? Oh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But you know how it is. Hey, the stream is getting cut? Yeah, 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 I saw that. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. I'll play a game of catch. Catch these hands? Dead? You know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. Okie dokie. I'm gonna look for evidence of flowery around here. There's a gap right here. Nothing really. There's a throne. It's a throne. Thank you. There's another throne here. This is Toriel's throne. Toriel uh, divorced Asgore. Uh, it's got something to do with Kara. I'm not entirely sure. I'm pretty sure they found out what Kara did to, to Gaster, and that's why they kind of broke up. All of the evidence is here as well. Did you go to Sans room? Yeah. But unfortunately, everybody is going to have to watch it in the recordings. Uh, we found what the internet calls a time machine down south, uh, down behind his house. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Okay, so this is where we... No, this is not where we found Flowey. At all. Well, oh, that was strange. I think I just... Oh, I thought I glitched through the map there for a second. No, I did not. Is it okay if I say why Toriel and Asgore broke up? Yes, but you better have uh, a decent source. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. Okay. Saved! Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, a 3D space. This is unusual. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If... If by chance you have any unfinished business, 
Please do what you must. Uh, yeah, let's continue. We're not getting the phone call from, from Pepper, so... I see. This is it, then. Ready? Okay, I had a quick look at those. I think the purple one might be, uh, Akara. Twilight is shining through the barrier. They broke up because Asgore said he would destroy humanity and Toriel didn't like it. Yeah, but all of that was a consequence of, of Kara. Kara betrayed everybody. We're filled up with determination. Asgore and Toriel divorced because of Asriel and Kara died. They tell you that when they're in a new home and monsters are telling you the story, she was disgusted because Asgore decided to clear war. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. That, that was my first theory as well, even during the blind playthrough. Human, it was nice to meet you. Goodbye. All right, it's got a trident. No mercy. That's a shame. Oh, we also don't have any healing items as well, so we're going to have to be very, very cautious, I think. Yeah, we've got a W dagger. I don't want to use it. Asgore attacks. Let's go ahead and act on him. Let's talk to him. You quietly tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His hands tremble for a moment. Ah! Okay, good. We dodged that one. Let's go ahead and do the same thing. You tell Asgore that you don't want to fight him. His breathing gets funny for a moment. Okie dokie. Alright, uh, rah, damn it, we took that one to the face as well. Asgore, let's talk again. You firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his eyes. Asgore's attack dropped. Asgore's defense dropped. You just need to talk from the Undertale and Deltarune pros? No, I don't. I, I literally, that's the last thing that my channel needs is influence from anyone else because everyone else just takes other people's advice they um create a confirmation bias for headcanon and then they confirm and uh, post everything as if it's fact when it's not fact it's never been confirmed or anything like that like gaster everybody's saying gaster this gaster that but gaster has never even been confirmed to be alive after the events of kara okay let's try and dodge what he is going to be throwing our way Woo, okay Ah, damn it, we took one of those. All right, he's got a couple of dots on his name. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Seems talking won't do any more good. Oh, well, that's fine. I can survive, I guess. Nice. Okay, let's see if we've got any health. We do not. We can probably eat the snow piece. The piece of the snowman. I'm eating it. You ate the snowman piece. Your HP was maxed out. I can't believe I actually just did that. That is disgusting. Ah, no! Okay. I got, I got screwed over with that one. Let's go ahead and do another talk. Seems talking won't do any more good. I don't really care, to be quite honest. All right, good. Slip that, slip that, slip that, slip that one, which is the same direction. Hilarious. Uh, I kind of... <clears throat> what do we want to do? Because I we, sh we don't have the pie from the start of the game, which is a real shame. Whoa! Whoa, okay. Uh, we took one. That's fine. As well, let's go ahead and talk again. Seems talking won't do any more good. I don't particularly care! Oh, we gotta move through the blue ones, don't we? Okay. So, let's check him. Let's go 80 attack, 80 defense, that's fine. Damn it, that was not safe. That's safe. Still took a hit anyway. We've got one HP left. Let's go ahead and act on him again. Do we just have to outlast him? I think we may have to actually just outlast him. Yeah, okay. So, let's go ahead and talk to him again. All you can do is fight. I'm not doing that, my friend. I'm literally doing everything but that. Oops, took another hit right there. That's a shame. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to him again. Seems talking won't do any more good. All right. We can't move through the blue. Got it. As an Undertale and Deltarune nerd, I always try not to go too much into the theory territory and about Gaster is shattered across time and space. Makes sense if he is in Deltarune. How is Gaster shattered across time and space? Literally, cite your source. I've literally been asking everybody to cite their source and no one's given me a source yet. And don't say the wiki or another YouTube because that's all misinformation. I just think Gaster is the old royal scientist who fell into a creation of his, always watching over and never confirmed to have an appearance. Well, he's got his own theme, so he's definitely in the game. I just think he was cut content. He was definitely around during the events of Kara. I think he was the royal scientist during the events of Kara, you know, studying things like that. You need to fight. You need to fight with Asgore. It's the only way. His followers say that. One of the followers in the game tell you that. Okay, fine. Right, fine. I will fight him. I still don't want to, though. 
Don't want to fight him. Don't want to fight him. Don't want to. Let's get this worn dagger so we can do lots and lots of damage. Done. You equip the dagger. Oh, I should have equipped the uh, locket as well. Here's rare events that give info on him. Gaster. Okay, if you're talking about the fun value stuff, those are Easter eggs and those are also con uh, unconfirmed to be canon. That purple one, I'm pretty sure, is Kara, by the way. Like a darkened soul. Okay, the mercy is gonna go. Can we use the locket? You equip the locket. But okay, that's the first phase done. Let's go ahead and try and talk to him to bone him. You tell Asgore that he's killed you once before. He nods sadly. Oh no, to be aware of that is actually monstrous. That is that is actually a sad detail. Let's go ahead and talk to him again. We don't want to fight him. His breathing gets funny for a moment. I think he goes a little bit more lenient on us if we just like say, hey, I don't want to fight. Oops, took another hit right there. Okay, let's start fighting him now. Boop. Still got it, baby. 121. Okay, good. Slip both of those. Let's go ahead and talk to him again. You firmly tell us go to stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his eyes. As his attack dropped. And his defense dropped. Excellent. Oh, that was so close. So was that, actually. Oh, oh, damn it. Okay, we took a hit. We've got one HP again. None of the souls are there from Kara. Kara died a long time ago. What? Yeah, but the human souls persist. And they're all kept in, in little containers. Okay, we'll go ahead and act. Them talking won't do any more good. Okay, so now we have to start fighting. Which I'm happy to do. We'll slip these little gaps right here. I feel like he is getting a little bit more... A little, a little bit more sus. Every time we have a new one. How do I do more attack on that one than I did in the last phase? Okay, we took a hit right there. It's pretty rough with only 20 HP, gotta be said. Asgore killed them all. Who knows where Kara's soul is? Well, if she died in the monster world, someone has it. Yeah, because that is the purpose of the monsters. It could even be Flowey. Flowey could even have Kara's soul. Okay, uh... I'm gonna go... We're gonna go out of this place. We're gonna stack up a bunch of healing items instead of kind of like beating our head against this brick wall. Because it's gonna be very, very easy to do it with healing items, I think. Not the soul from Chara. They started trapping souls after Chara because they need the souls to break the barrier. They don't have a choice. They, they can't trap souls. The souls are there whether you like it or not. And saying that, even if uh, they couldn't get Kara's soul into one of those tiny little containers, which I'm pretty sure Gaster was um, uh, integral and kind of uh, uh, designing, then that just confirms that her soul is most likely actually going to be a black heart. Right? She's got a blackened soul because she was a terrible person. All right, we've got to go in here. Another one from Kara. They started trapping souls after Kara because they need the souls to break the barrier. Okay, but they got through with just Kara. Explain that. <laughs> Explain how they literally broke the barrier to drop off Kara's body with just Kara's soul. It's not like she was the most powerful person in the world. There's no evidence Kara pushed Gaster into the core. No, that is my leading theory and headcanon because there is no evidence that Gaster is um, around after the events of Kara. There's no evidence. And also, uh, the entry 17, everybody keeps telling me that it's about the kind of like magical world. They're studying photons in the magical world. Why the hell would they be studying science and photons in this underworld if it's a world of magic? It doesn't make any sense. Kara isn't evil. They're actually a really nice person. That's not what the genocide route is telling me on the internet. It's just not what... It, it's, the, the evidence is there. The evidence is there for Kara to actually be a, a bit of a murderer. Alright, we'll come through here. I'm just going to get a bunch of junk food from the uh, store. Where the hell is this? I don't remember this. You chose to do that? Sorry? I, ch I chose to murder everyone, and that just reminded everyone of Kara because she was a really nice person. Okay. Okay. You influence Kara to do that? How would I do that if I'm not controlling Kara? We're controlling whoever the hell this yellow chick is. We're not controlling Kara. Kara's already had her story uh, told. 
cheese cannon and the law. I'm gonna go ahead and buy a bunch of these junk foods right here. Yes, 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 yes. We could probably actually throw some more crap away because we don't really need everything in our inventory. And then swap it out with some HP as well. Kara is a child, so are we. We're also a child. Uh, let's go ahead and equip this heart locket. You equip the locket, excellent. I'm also gonna equip this here worn dagger. You equip the dagger. Now we probably want to throw away the stained apron because it's worse than the locket. And we want to replace that little slot with more healing. Excellent. Also, they don't really have a gender. Who, Kara or uh, this yellow chick here? <laughs> You've lost me. You've started losing me. I have lots and lots of evidence, and I'm not seeing a lot of sources uh, from you guys. They'll tell you more about Kara in the game, but Kara is the most understood character in Undertale. Not evil, but not good. No, she's human, isn't she? She's a product of... Um, of what everybody uh, says that she is, which is a human who forced all of the monsters to go and live underground out of uh, basically xenophobia. That's what I'm getting from the story so far. Okay, just gonna pop along over here because I know there's an elevator at the end of this bridge. Kind of strange that we haven't encountered any enemies around here. And there's also that button up north as well. I don't know what that did. Because I don't know if that was optional or not. Okay, we're here. Go this away. Because this is kind of like a shortcut, right? No, it is not. The right way is a shortcut. Both are genderless? Okay. <laughs> what an advanced society of humans. They're afraid of monsters, and yet they've got uh, the concept of gender diversity. Funny, huh? Alright. Hopping on through here. Kara was a human who fell underground. What do you mean just a human who fell underground? Kara didn't hate monsters, quite the opposite actually. Then why does she have a, a knife in her room? Why does she literally have a weapon in her room? Why does Asgore keep just those two things to remind himself of Kara? She must have loved that knife. Also, Deltarune, a lot of imagery with the same knife. I recommend you finish all routes in Undertale. You know what, no. I, I think after I finish the pacifist route, I'm just gonna stop playing the game altogether. Uh, hashtag sarcasm. No, I'm, I'm definitely gonna be finishing all of the routes. You can bet your bottom dollar on that. It was a present? A rusty knife was a present. A, a rusty knife was a gift that Asgore gave to a child. Do you guys hear yourself? Like all of, the, all of what you're telling me is just flat out ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and save here. Just so that we don't have to go too far to fight Asgore again. And then we'll come through, we, oh. There's actually another save point right here, weirdly. Let's go ahead, come in here. As, uh, that's the same room as when Flowey ambushed us initially. This is not where Flowey took us though. Very unusual. Hey Asgore! How you doing? Ready? Yes, I am ready. Wonderful. Okay, he's got his trident out, and he's he's taken initiative. He's destroyed the first one. Oh my god, there was a present beside both Kara and Asriel's bed. Yeah, but who had wit? That's the thing. Again, Kara is not evil, but not good person. Kara felt hate, but not for monsters. What are you citing? What is your source? They gave each other gifts. They loved each other. Well, the parents gave uh, the kids gifts. We know that. And we know that uh, Kara was treated as a sibling to Asriel, which doesn't necessarily mean that they liked each other. Because I don't know if you guys have siblings, but there are times where I absolutely loathed my sisters. I have two sisters. They, they were loathsome at points, but, you know, ultimately I did love them. We'll talk to Asgore for a bit. We'll lower all of his, uh, all of his dialogue. You'll tell Eskel that he's killed you twice before. He nods sadly. All right. And, oh, that was a good slip right there. Excellent. Okay, we'll talk to him again. You tell Eskel that you don't want to fight him. His breathing gets funny for a moment. What are we looking at here? Okay, I took that hit right to the face. You gotta kind of like plan those ones in advance a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to him. You firmly tell Eskel to stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his eyes. Asgore's attack dropped. Asgore's defense dropped. Wonderful. It's precisely what we need. Ah, oh, piss! They changed direction. Oh, that one also changed direction just as I did not want him to do it. Ah. Kara supposedly jumped into the mountain to kill themselves. Where is that? 
That's probably, yeah, I honestly wouldn't be too surprised about that. It seems talking won't do any more good. But that doesn't necessarily reinforce anything that you're talking about. Good. Okay, the next one, we don't want to talk to him anymore. We just want to start slapping him around a little bit. Need to finish pacifist route? Whoa. 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 Okay, good. Need to finish pacifist route if you want to learn more about Chara, so let's leave it there for now. Yeah, I am really excited to learn more about Chara. Or Kara. I don't even know which one it is. Okay, I tried talking to him. Probably a little bit of a silly move because he's already made up his mind about killing me, a child. Okay, let's go ahead and fight him again. Boop. Done. Slashed him down the face. Did 145 damage. That's crazy numbers. Okay, took a little bit of damage. Didn't take any more. We're going to go ahead and use one of these junk foods. You eat the junk food. Uh, HP was maxed out. Excellent. Okay, so that, that second one, we uh, did, didn't want to move, did we? Let's fight him again. Whoop. I think we beat him first go on my blind playthrough. Right here. Good. And right. Damn it. Ah, oh, There's always something, right? Okay. Whoop. Right down the middle. 143, right to the face. I'm slipping it. I'm slipping. I'm slipping. I'm slipping. Nice. Okay. Thanks, controller. Just uh, did another one of those weird menu jumps. Why there is not a dead zone uh, control or setting in this game is completely beyond me. All right, let's go ahead and fight Asgore again. Whoop. Straight down the face. Excellent. Okay. Dodge, move, dodge. Good, nice. Okay, orange, we got to move through. Let's go ahead and fight him again. Whoop. 147, down the face. Excellent. Oh, I took one. That's fine. I could probably get away with an, one more attack before we just want to heal up again. 145, that's pretty good. Excellent. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, damn it, we took another one. Excellent. We've got one health left. Let's use the junk food again. You eat the junk food. Great. Oh, I forgot that we actually had to survive to earn oh, to heal. Whew. It's pronounced like Kara because it's a short name for a character. What's it short for? I say Chara, like, how do you say chop for the CH? You can say it like Kara? Yeah, I've been saying both. I've been flip-flopping between it. Wham! Right down the face. Excellent. I almost tried to cut his horn off. Stay, stay, move. Yes! Good. Let's go ahead and fight him. Boom. How much is that? 145 down the face again? Uh, we want to slip that, and we want to slip this, and we want to slip that. We want to slip this upwards, and we took a hit right at the end, which is a little bit of a damp fart, but it is what it is. We could probably try to talk to him again, but I don't think it's necessary. We'll wait until his health is like halfway done before we try talking to him again. Oh my god! Ah! Damn it, we took that last one right to the dome. Don't know how we survived that, um, that last one we had, though. Like, character? Yeah, that makes sense, actually. I like that. I used to, until I used something to say Chara and used to, like, chop. That makes sense. It makes sense that you guys think that way. Okay, talking won't do any more good here. Oh, piss! You, you think? I think that talking might actually have done a, a lot of good right there. You eat the junk food. Good. Okay, so we're going to have to survive something. I think I got them backwards. We can move through the orange. Okay, we can move through the orange. i got to remember that. Let's go ahead and fight Asgore again. Boop. Slash down the face. I'm slipping it. Oh, damn, that was close, actually. Slipping it. Slipping it. Sli okay, almost missed that last one, too. Let's go ahead and fight him again. Boop. 202. Wowee. That is a huge amount of damage. Damn it. Oh, we're taking all of these ones. They are so hard to predict. I think the, like, center lane for that attack cycle is actually very, very difficult to just kind of stay inside of. Uh, we want to use another one of these junk foods. Because our HP was so low. Anyway. Oh, we moved through that last blue one, unfortunately. All right, let's go ahead and fight him again. See what we got here. It is 254. Why is our attack going up so much? Okay, took that one straight to the face. Took that one straight to the face. Great, let's fight him again. I think we're almost out of junk food. 276, what the hell? Okay, good. good. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and see if we've got any more junk food. We do. I think we survive one more attack phase and then we use it. Boop. Slash down the face for 
301 damage! Okay, I think I got them backwards there. Let's go ahead and use our junk food. You eat the junk food! Our HP was maxed out. Wonderful. Uh, nope. Want to be here. Good! Nice. Okay, Asgore is low HP. I can see that, yes. 728. Quite an attack. Ah. Uh, so that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. No, no. Mercy. Oh, huh? After everything I have done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface? Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could be like, like a family. As Gord, where's Gord? Kinda weird that As had a white soul. Kinda weird indeed. According to the internet, Irish people say Kara like chop. Yeah, I am part Irish. I probably should be a, a little bit more Irish with myself. You idiot! You haven't learned a thing! In this world? Yes, kill or be killed! <laughs> so that was it! What a game, huh? What a what a game indeed. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. Right no, I'm totally kidding. We'll actually go back into the game and we'll finish it. <laughs> that, that, that was just a little bit of comic relief right there. All monsters have white souls, humans have color souls. Yeah, how can that be if, if uh, monsters don't have souls? I'm pretty... Oh, here we go. One day they disappeared without a trace. Oh well. Here we go. Okay, so now we're with Flowey. And we've got the whole game space to walk around in. Nice. Okay, we've got a save right here. I'm gonna do a save. Oh! I forgot about that. I completely forgot about that. Hi, Flowey. How you doing? Howdy. It's me, Flowey. Flowey the flower. I owe you a huge thanks. You really did a number on that old fool. Without you, I never could have gotten past him. But now, with your help... He's dead. And I've got the human souls. <laughs> Boy, I've been empty for so long. It feels great to have a soul inside me again. Hmm, I can feel them wriggling. Oh, you Oh! Did he kill Kara? He's a flower, so he would have been amongst Asgore's kind of like garden, right? Oh, maybe he's... Maybe he actually did take Kara's soul. Ooh. Ooh! Don't know what he did with it, though. He, he probably squandered it. Oh, you're feeling left out, aren't you? No flower didn't kill Kara. Cite your source! Cite your source! Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. He could have camouflaged in Asgore's garden so well where Kara lived! 
If he kind of like poisoned Kara over time, if he was a poisonous plant, he could have killed Kara and taken her soul. After all, I only have six souls. No spoilers about Flowey. Okay, then prepare for spoilers. No spoilers, please. I still need one more. Before I become good. And then, with my newfound powers, monsters, humans, everyone, I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. <laughs> oh, and forget about escaping to your old save file. It's gone forever. But don't worry. Your old friend Flowey has worked out a replacement for you. Why you save over your own death? So you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces. Over, run over, run over. What? Do you really think you can stop me? Yeah. You really are an idiot. Okay. Okay. Let's fight. Woo! Woo, let's fight, Flowey. Give it to me. Give it to me! Give it! Give me! I love that image so much, by the way. That is such a cool image. <laughs> love it! Okay, we're under attack. It's firing flame. We already got hit by the flame somehow. Oh, so close. That one's almost impossible to dodge. That one's pretty easy to dodge. You just gotta slip him sideways. Okay, good. Oh, so close. Damn it. Fight! Fight! Okay, that one's an impossible move to dodge. I'm gonna be honest, I thought almost all the Undertale fans went, went, weren't existent. Went existent? And everyone had beaten Undertale? Been an Undertale fan for about two years now? Yeah, no, I, I was really late to the party. People talked me into playing this and I didn't realize just how fun it actually was. I'm, I'm the type of guy that will bury my head in the sand when it comes to like gaming lore until I can play it for myself. There's only a couple of exceptions that I've made. Five Nights at Freddy's definitely a, a, an exception. I've been watching that for the last like, when did the first one come out? 2014, so a decade. I've been following that lore until Steel Wool Studios kind of it took the lore and was all like, hey, let's uh, screw this up a little bit. Did you really think I was going to be satisfied killing you only one time? No, I didn't think you were ever going to be satisfied. You creep of a ghost. Okay, okay. Or maybe, maybe when Kara died, her soul went into Flowey as a flower and it kind of like personalized, anthropomorphized him or her. That's also a possibility. Has it ever been touched on? I like in real time theory crafting. Okay, we got that. Or not. Good, flamethrowers. We can slip those easy or not. This is gonna be the fastest death we've had so far, I think. I think like every single time he, uh... Oh, damn it. Took a couple of those hits. Every single time that we reload the save, he gets a little easier, right? Around like 2016, Undertale role plays were amazing. Oh, I yeah, I've seen the cringe of the community. I, I'm pretty sure that's kind of like why people weren't happy being associated with it after a while. Like around about 2017, 2018, uh, Undertale had a lot in common with furries. Like the bad furries, not the people who just do it as a hobby, but the furries who are just like absolute creepy um, PDF files on the internet. Let's fire this bad back up. I want to spoil the game so much. Don't do it. Literally do not do it. Pathetic. Now you're really going to die. Okay. Trust me, in 2016, they were good. Well, I'm talking about Minecraft RPS. Oh, yeah. I used to follow the mod, the Yogs cast. They were really, really good. Who else played Minecraft? I don't know anybody else that really played Minecraft on YouTube. Oh, I suppose there was Markiplier doing drunk Minecraft. <laughs> Ah. I'm going to try and slip his tentacles in case that's his first one. Otherwise, it's going to be completely random. Yep, we're slipping. Oh, we took one anyway. Oh, there's a gigantic beam of death in the middle. Nice. Slip all of... Nope, didn't slip the fire. Don't slip the fire. 
Good. I did a fight. It's got a little less HP. Okay. You gotta get real lucky with that attack phase, right? Yeah, I think you gotta get real lucky with that attack phase. I need some coke before I almost spoil everything. Good thing was never on the bad side. Good thing A was never on the bad side of the fandom. Oh, you're never on the bad side of the fandom. I know, like, every fandom eventually gets a good side and a bad side, and I, I feel like at the moment I've only really encountered the good side of people. I remember all the cursed ships and AUs and Sans being shipped with himself from the other AUs and having children with himself. Yeah, 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 that's, the, that's all that Rule 34 kind of stuff, right? That was so big as well. I ship, I ship Flowey and I also ship Flowey with uh, Kara. I ship, I ship Kara's soul inside of Flowey. Because honestly, who else would want to take out uh, Kindly Asgore? It doesn't make sense. Other than Kara, who would have watched the, uh, uh, her kind of like father figure devolve into this warmonger. Okay, flamethrowers first, that's fine. Dodge him. Nice! Yes! Okay, this one's kind of hard to slip, actually. Very, very... Ah, very obnoxious. I'm going ahead and I'm fighting him regardless. Good. Okay, flamethrowers again, that's fine, I don't mind. You can do your flamethrowers, buddy. Okay, that second one's really hard, and you also can't touch the uh, tentacles either. Oh, warning! Yes! Okay, so this is where everything starts turning around, right? Where all the other souls start helping? Oh, piss, I still got hit anyway. Yeah, the reason I feel like the knife belongs to Kara is because of this right here. And I'm starting to see, like, a lot of other little details between Kara and also Flowey. Okay, Venus Flytrap. Oh, I slipped almost every single one of those. That was pretty cash money of me. Almost slipped all of those as well. Yep, pretty good. We don't want to be hit by the flowery bombs at all. Good. Let's go ahead and do a fight. Uh, finger guns. That's a funny little meme right there. Okay, good. Woo! Give me something green! No, not bacterium! What are you doing? Stop! Okay, we've got a yellow heart. Perfect. So we've got an opportunity to, to heal. This is not an opportunity to heal. This is actually just um, kind of more nightmare fuel for the sake of nightmare fuel, I think. Well, thanks for all of the health. Yellow so Oh, perfect. Here we go. You called for help. Am I taking damage? What the hell, game? Well, this does not heal you very much whatsoever. Okay, good. Uh, I did not see that coming, ironically. Uh, what's next? Okay, good. Yep, he's doing the tentacles again, and we can't go back into them because they hurt us. Alright, I was actually still moving in the same direction that I was being saved in. It still just forces you to take damage. Okay, we got another one of these bad boys. Okay, so this is the ballerina shoe one, right? Yep, slip that one. You called for help. STOP STOMPING ME! I CALLED FOR HELP! <laughs> yes, this is a full health if I ever saw one. Uh, almost. Almost every single one of those. Nice. Nice. Very nice. I do like not being hit by things and I also like killing. There's not like a, um... Why are the fight icons so few and far between for this fight? Okay, we took one of those. That was just unlucky, honestly. It's kind of impossible to dodge them. All right, sure, I'll take all of those hits as well. I'd love to. What's going on? There was, there was, there was no attackers! Wow. I'm fine with Sans Toriel. That's gross. <laughs> Toby said Sans is too lazy to like someone. Yeah, I definitely agree with that, honestly. Ooh. Oh, oh. I'm pretty sure I just got screwed out of the fight. You've got to like, I think there is a mechanic of just opening the game over and over again. Because I did just get screwed out of a fight. Yes, hello again. There were no like fight icons to deal damage and I feel like we're supposed to restart the game over and over until we get those. Okay, we've got age bombs. Yeah, there's a, so 
when you really think about the weaponry used by humans, they're definitely all kind of like used by Flowey as well. Flamethrowers, bombs, the biological warfare we are currently dealing with right this second. Uh, these are kind of like shurikens. Finger guns is definitely kind of like a human culture thing, I feel. The only outlier is kind of like the vines, which would be Flowey's direct attack. What is this? Ah, uh, murder, sadness, hatred. Okay, we didn't have a choice to get out of that one, unfortunately. All right, we're good. Here we go, act. Now, this could be the soul of the person kind of talking to us right here, but I'm probably more inclined to believe that these are kind of like Kara's internal thoughts. Oh, come off it! It's just forcing you to take hits for no apparent reason. Okay, that one actually stopped me from taking hits. Okay, good. And we have to take those vines as well. Warning! Okay, we've got some pans. This thing's spitting hot fire. This is, we actually learned this one in Deltarune. This is just a simple memory game when it all boils down. Okay, we still took a hit regardless. Oh, good, and there's an X button right there. Let's go ahead and hit it. Okay, good, we called for help. We probably still have to, PPs! Look at all the PPs! Shove your PPs in my mouth! Yes, all of the PPs. Very good, okay. Oh, I think I found a rhythm with those ones. Excellent. And we got some biological stuff here. I just hit the fight button. Did 24 damage. Not amazing, gotta be said. Oh, flame pros again. That's a very human weapon. I don't know why a monster would be using these in any kind of fight. Still took that last hit, unfortunately. Okay, the yellow soul is now revolting. Come get me. What is that, a gun? Oh, come off it. All right. Actually, this is not so bad. Ow. Okay, we don't want to be, like, in the path of these. Oh, good. Took that one. You called for help. Yes, I most certainly did, friendo. Oh. Yes! And dump it! Dump it into me! Give me the clovers! Okay, good. Dialogue? Hey, guys! Yo, what's up? It's me, Jensen. Have you subscribed yet? Yes! Yes! Dump your peepees and hope into me. Yes, I will take all of your peepees. All six of you at once. Insert casting couch joke. Okay, Flowey's defense dropped to zero. Ha! Sucks to be you, Flowey. You oafish creature. Good. I'm gonna take that health right there. Okay, we took a few attacks right there. We're actually taking more damage in this phase. I, I'm gonna take that peepee. -pee. Nice. Okay, I'm kind of struggling with this phase right here. Okay, we'll grab that heal. Even if it costs us a little bit. Okay, good. Stop! Stop using that one... Stop spamming that one move, you ass hat! Cease! Okay, I am kind of like out DPSing him with heals. As long as I can get the heals. Yes, peepees. Very good. Okay, I took a bunch of those. Stop spamming this one move! What a dickhead! Stop! Okay, we got Venus flytraps. These are actually not that bad, gotta be said. And on the other side here, coming through. Took a, a couple of the flies, but that's fine. Okay, good. Nice! I'm gonna fight a couple of times right here. We want to avoid these H-bombs, these flowery H-bombs. And now I'm gonna hit fight again. Okay, he's halfway down. You don't want to be hit by these flum throwers, these flum inverters, one might say. Hope, please! Okay, good. I slipped that. I took a finger gun right to the face as a consequence. All right, good. Got another clover over here. I'm gonna take that. Wonderful. We've got a fight. Nice. I'm the best around. Nothing's ever going to slow me down. I'm the best babies around. Excellent. I don't know if I took any damage from that. Okay, let's go ahead and hit fight. I'm gonna slip as much of those attacks as I can. Slip all these flies right here. Good. Uh, gotta be said, the flies are probably also an exception to that rule that I said, where we're using basically a lot of human imagery here in the fight. Oh, we did it! We did it! I wasn't even looking at it! No! No! This can't be happening! You! You!
Thanks, Trollface. You idiot. <laughs> Did you really think? You could defeat me? I am the god of this world. And you? You're hopeless. Hopeless and alone. Gully, that's right. Your worthless friends can't save you now. Go for help. I dare you. Cry into the darkness. Mommy, daddy, somebody help. See what good it does you. You called for help. Everyone's going to come. Uh-oh. I was in trouble, but nobody came. Boy, what a shame. Nobody else is gonna get to see you die. I could probably slip that. Oh, I was so close. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna slip between them. What? How'd you? Well, I'll just. Oh no. But where are my powers? The souls? What are they doing? No! No! You can't do that! You're supposed to obey me! Stop! Stop it! Stop! God, I can breathe fire, huh? Like a dragon. Oh my god, you guys are having a real chat. Mercy! Mercy! What are you doing? Do you really think I've learned anything from this? No! Mercy! Mercy time! Sparing me won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. Mercy! Mercy! If you let me live, I'll come back. Mercy! I'll kill you. Mercy! Mercy! I'll kill everyone. Mercy time! Mercy! I'll kill everyone you love. Mercy! 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 Why? This guy's got a death wish, right? And if anything, if, if Chet's anything to go by, so does Kara. No? I was, uh, is everyone else seeing all of the connections that I am seeing between uh, Flowey and Kara? Mercy! Why are you being so nice to me? Mercy! I can't understand. Mercy! I can't understand. Mercy! I just can't understand. Flowey ran away. Ow, oh, he doesn't have legs. What does he do? Did he just smack his face on the ground and kind of like curl up like a slug? <laughs> it's us! Also, this uh, kind of spotlight right here looks like the peepees. Spamton would have a conniption. Is this where it closes? Undertale! Be to be fixed! I didn't actually, I didn't remember that that was there. Timmy Ting. Who's Timmy Chang? Oh, there must be a person, right? Okay, so all of these people may have had some influence on the game. Muffet. Oh, was it? Was that one of the Kickstarter designs? It's pretty good. Other monster designs. Mike Reed and Samael. Good grief. Samael is a literal demon. You can just kill him if you want. Just finish this route to reload and go for the true ending. What? It, oh, so hold up. Now that I've beaten it on pacifist, do I have to go through the entire game again to get the true pacifist ending? You're gonna get a talk from your, your friend Flowey? Ring ring! Hey, uh, is anyone there? Well, just calling to say, you made a snowman really happy. Guess I should say something else too. I ate the snowman, by the way. I ate the snowman. Just reload and backtrack? Okay, I'll do that. So, it's been a while. 
The Queen returned and is now ruling over the underground. She's instated a new policy. All the humans who fall here will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best, anyway. The human souls the King gathered seem to have disappeared. So, uh, that plan ain't happening anytime soon. But even though people are heartbroken over the King, and things are looking grim for her freedom, the Queen's trying her best not to let us give up hope. So, uh, hey, if we're not giving up down here, don't give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long it will take, but we will get out of here. Friends, who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Here, knock yourself out. Wait a second, I recognize this number. Attention, human! I, the Great Pepperus, am now captain of the Royal Guard! It's everything I've ever dreamed of, except instead of fighting, we just water flowers! So that's ever so slightly different, and we're helping Dr. Elphis with her research! She's gonna find a way to get us out of here! Undyne is helping her too! Though, to be honest, her method of helping seems kind of... explosion-inducing. But I think Elphis likes having her around. Uh-oh! Hey! What are you up to, punk? Ah! Please don't noogie the phone! Hey, who's in charge here? Me! Oh, yeah, that's right. I quit my job as leader of the Royal Guard. Actually, since we won't be fighting anymore, the Royal Guard ro totally disbanded. There's, uh, only one member now. But he's extremely good! Yeah, he is. Come here. Please don't noogie the skeleton! Anyways, now I'm working as Elphys' lab assistant. We're gonna find a way out of this dump once and for all. Oh, and yeah, I'm a gym teacher at the Queen's New School. Did you know I can bench press seven children? Oh, I can only do like five. Awesome, right? Hey, I'm sorry about what happened with Asgore. You were just doing what you had to. It's not your fault he... Ah, darn it. I miss the big guy. Come on, Undyne, snap out of it. Uh, I guess I'll tell you how Elphys is doing. Well, she's the same as ever. Maybe a little more reclus reclusive than normal. Seems like something's really bothering her, but she can get through it. I'm there supporting her. That's what friends are for, right? So if Metaton was anything to go by, Elphys was using Metaton to stop us from killing the king. We killed the king and Elphys helped us to do that. So Elphys is probably feeling a little bit of guilt about that, right? That's what friends are for, right? Hey, wherever you are, I hope it's better than here. It took a lot of sacrifice for you to get there. So, wherever you are, you have to try to be happy, okay? For our sakes. We'll feel better knowing our trouble was worth it. We're all with you. Everyone is. Even the Queen. Hey! Wait a second! Toriel! Toriel! Do you wanna... Ah, she says she's busy. But if she knew who we were talking to... We wouldn't get the phone back for at least a few hours. We have the mercy to spare you from her! A call back any time, okay? She'd love to talk. Oh, whoops. This thing's almost out of batteries. So, I hate to cut this short, but... Be seeing you, okay, buddy? Bye-bye for now! See you, punk. Look. Where are we? <laughs> That's my next question, where are we? Hey, Kara. I mean, Flowey. Why? Why did you let me go? Don't you realize that being nice just makes you get hurt? Look at yourself. You made all these great friends. Being nice makes you get hurt. Kara came down, found a family. It hurt her. Food for thought. You made all these great friends, but now you'll probably never see them again. Not to mention how much they've been set back by you. Hurts, doesn't it? If you had just gone through without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have to feel bad now. So I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why did the thing still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? Say, what if I told you I knew some way to get you a better ending? You'll have to load your save file and, well, in the meantime, why don't you go see Dr. Elphys? It seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows? Maybe she's got the key to your happiness. See you soon! Long ago, two factions fought side against each other! <laughs> okay, so now we go back, right? You did neutral, but still made people happy. You have to go on a date with Elphus to get the normal and true pacifist. While you're on pacifist, you can change to true pacifist. I'm about to explain every piece of spoilers from the game. Let me just scream real quick. Yeah, no, don't do that. Don't do that at all. So, 
I'm going to go all the way back. We should get a phone call from uh, Papyrus because I'm pretty sure that that is the route to the true pacifist ending, which I was going for in the first place. I read a quick guide before I started this and I came very, very close to getting spoilers. But fortunately, the guy who wrote the guide um, kind of did it intentionally in a way so that nothing was really spoiled and you can kind of like just play along. I was looking for a phone call from either Undyne or Papyrus to tell us to go to Alphys' place. Oh, no, we definitely want to go in here. Let's hit the elevator button and hopefully it won't take us back to the end of this place again. All right, we're at the core, perfect. Be nice, I like. I like. What kind of dog is this? Kind of weird to go through this corridor with no music and no Alphys. Kind of weird to go through Metaton's boss room without any Metaton. Although this Euro dance that I'm currently experiencing, that is definitely welcome. I wonder if Toby Fox actually does listen to Euro dance. It wouldn't surprise me, honestly. Okay, so we are exiting the core, I think. No, we are not. We're backtracking lots. These were the lasers, the red light, green light from Dr. Alphys. What a jackass. Couldn't he just turn them off once? I bet Gaster would have been able to turn them off once. I'll tape my mouth and hands. Okay, best of luck with that. I found that if you do your mouth first, then uh, you're able to get more of your hands. Is this a button? Yes, it is. We can't press it, though. Okay. So down here. Down here. Down here through the really creepy area. Ring, ring. Hey, uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus. This was your idea. Human, you have to deliver something for me. Uh, please? I'm at Snowden in front of Papyrus's. See ya, punk! Look. Okay. So she's gonna give us maybe like some kind of weird fleshlight and we have to deliver it to Alphys. I don't know what else he could possibly want. Oh no, I can't move. Go to Undyne first. Yeah, we'll go to Undyne first. She's got a package, right? She's got a, a big sweaty package for us. Because she's a fish. Not because she's a sweaty person. Because she's a fish. Okie dokie. Let's go in here and which one was the way to the exit. Was it left floor one? I think it was left floor one, right? And right floor three is kind of like the exit way. Yeah, good. Okay, perfect. We'll get the sweaty package and we should be in a really golden place. Perfect. We're right at the start here. I'm going to say, seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. Good. Okay, so we'll talk to Karen here. Tra la la! Care for a ride? Yes, we'll ride in the boat. Abso damn well lootly. We will be going to Snowden! My, my hooded creep. He's going to give us more exposition that we've already seen before. Why is he dressed like this? Tra la la! Humans, monsters, flowers. Yeah, that's actually something... What if the flowers are their own faction? I, d I don't believe that for an absolute second. But if the flowers were kind of like somewhat alive... And the soul of Kara left her body and went into Asgore's garden. Or even went into a flower in the village garden. That would have created Flowey as, as anthropomorphized as he is. And then potentially as he kept using the power um, to kind of like maim and cripple and hurt people. Maybe the soul kind of like bled? Hey, I have something to give you. But you're carrying way too much. Okay, let's go ahead and eat some junk food right here. Yum, you eat the junk food. Excellent. Uh, so, I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I, I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Elphus. Oh, why didn't I do it myself? Uh, well, it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so I'll tell you. Poplin sucks! I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. Why don't you just take the boatman's ferry? Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. All right. Let's, let's use it. Oh my god, I'm gonna freaking kill you! Okay. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have done it right in front of her. Just literally. Don't worry, man. You, your secret is safe with me. Your secret is absolutely safe with me. <laughs> Immediately read it. Oh, that's interesting. Wow, funny. <laughs> okay, we'll ride in the boat. We'll go back to the Hotlands. Yes. Don't worry, everything will be explained really, really soon. Ah! Says Tail. Now that is a comment. 
That is a full and complete comment, if nothing else. Tra la la! I heard Asgore has a favourite food. Yeah, it's butterscotch cinnamon pie. It's a shame it's not our favourite food. We're horribly allergic to one of those ingredients, and I'm not going to tell you which. I'm not going to tell you which. You have to figure that one out yourself, Aaron. Come again sometime. Tra la la! If he figures it out for himself, then chances are we'll need to be flown across the river Acheron. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under. Yes. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Uh, oh, no. Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can I just slide it back out? N no, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. <laughs> um, it's shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. It's me, the child. Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god! Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have. Oh my god, oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you uh, wrote that way. It's surprising, too. After all the gross stuff I did, I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this? And so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. Woo! We're gonna be dating Elfies. Dating start. Yes, 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 yes. We're gonna be dating Elfies. Uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. That's okay. Yeah, I'm back. Hey there, five host. Oh, uh, uh, wait. What was his gender? Her gender. It's gender. What was its gender? What was Elphys's gender? Because somebody told me, and I, I think I immediately threw it out and just thought, boy. And now here he is wearing a dress. Why are you excited? Because we're finally dating him. Maybe he'll have a redemption arc and stop being an absolute piece of garbage. Oh, she is a female. Okay, good to know. My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of, um... Anyway, let's do this thing. Dating. Start. It, hey, wait. Actually, we still can't step the date yet. Dating, stop. We've told you so many times. Hi, Ember. I don't recognize that name. Uh, I do have memory issues, though. I'm, I'm medicated for him. I've got to give your items to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date, right? Anyway, uh, don't worry. I'm prepared. It's a dinosaur version of Lisa Simpson. That's a good way to remember it, actually. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got some metal armor polish. Uh, maybe you can't use that, but I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, um, scales. Uh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I, um... Hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start on a date. Dating start! Yeah, let's, uh, date! Come here often? I should lock you in a cold kennel because you're one hot but What's chat saying? Want a different account? It's Overdrive? Oh, hi, Overdrive. Everyone in the underground is too obsessed with dates. We're a child. We're a child. Everyone wants to date us. Why, why is that even a thing? Uh, do you like anime? <laughs> no. No, I do not. I most certainly do not like anime. Hey, me too. I lied. I lied to her to riz her. It's kind of messed up. It is kind of messed up, isn't it? Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. That's exactly what I would have said. Oh, yeah. Here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> She's really, uh... W Riz? Yeah, I think we've got W Riz. Oh no, that's her over there. I, I can't let her see me on a date with you. <laughs> Why? Because, uh, well... Oh no, here she comes. Hey, there you are. I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea, so I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Oh, huh? you don't have it. Ah! Have you at least seen her? Well, Pepperus was just following what a book said, and Elphys is just doing this to make you feel better. Yeah, I feel like that's the case as well. And Undyne is uh, one of those over 
overworking people, right? Overcompetitive, hypercompetitive people who saw it as a, a challenge. Do we lie? Do we conserve Alphys's... No. I've seen her. Yeah. So she's somewhere around here. Thanks. I'll keep looking. Hi, Undyne! Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh... I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you, you know, it'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better. Well, it sounds even worse when I, when I put it like that. This guy! This guy to make us feel better is risking being put on a permanent sex offenders register. What a guy, huh? I'm sorry, I'm, I messed up again. And that's the person I um, really want to go on a date with. But, I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't. Uh, cool. But Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny. And I'm just a nobody. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Keep lying! The best advice for a relationship. Always build a strong foundation of lies for your relationship to crumble upon. Always give your partner ammunition to have a go at you. Uh, tell her the truth, obviously. Come on, man. This brain dead decision. Ugh. Also, if you never flirt with Papyrus, his date just becomes friends hang up. Roleplay cringe? It is a little bit, isn't it? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy, or a truth where neither of us are. They say be yourself, but I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the, the truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Oh, no. Okay, you be Undyne, I will be you. Okay? R role play? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be Undyne? I'll be Undyne. No, you'll be Undyne, obviously. Me? Undyne? Yeah, you need to be the sounding board so I can show you how to riz that hoe. Also, don't, ever, <laughs> don't anybody ever say hoe. That, that is a bad way to refer to any kind of woman or man. A good way to refer to a man, actually. Uh, uh, uh okay. I'll say what I think she'd say, and you, um... You show me what I'm supposed to do. Ahem. <clears throat> ah! Hey, Elvis, you look cute today! Which I say often, but platonically, I would never like you. Uh, yo, you're one hot, hot baby! That's Riz. That is Riz. I don't care if you swear. I promised myself I'd stop swearing. Until I became Discord for a second. <laughs> good, good Riz there, five host. Frisk is such a weird kid. I don't know who Frisk is. Okay. So, do we want to take this seriously, or do we actually kind of just want to be a, an F boy? If you know what I mean. A screw boy. You know, backwards hat or sideways hat. Missing the top bit of it. With kind of like a UCLA muscle tank. And a, um... A pocket full of extra small condoms. Riz? Okay, we'll Riz her. Hi, Undyne, can we talk? Always open with kind of like an opening statement. Talk to you? Hmm? I, I guess so. I often seem excited to listen to you for some reason. I will make intent eye contact with you so you sweat while you talk. So, what is it? <laughs> Let's tell Undyne the truth. What? So you've been lying to me the whole time? Elphys? I can't believe you! You worthless slime! How could you betray our friendship? After how much I trusted you! Elphys, I'll never love you! This is called projection, by the way. Never will you feel my passionate embrace! I, Undyne, will never kiss you with my beautiful lips! I just realized the ridiculous situation we were in, and she <laughs> pretending to be her. Oh, silly. What did you just say? Uh, Undyne, I was 
Just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were, but... I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you. What? I mean... I mean... Undyne, I... I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was, like, scientifically important. Really, I was just using it to make ice cream. And those human history books I keep reading, those are just dorky comic books. And the history movies, those... Those are just, uh, anime. They are real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I, I was just eating frozen yogurt in my pajamas at that time. Alphas. I... I just wanted to impress you. <laughs> I'm actually laughing for once in under tell. That is really funny, right? That is just an excellent execution of timing comedy. I never choose to be Elphus on the date. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll be Elphus. For sure, why not? That's why back then the people thought Undertale was the furry lesbian game. Neither of them are furry, though. That's the thing. I, like, I know that the, the community's kind of had a, a bit of a blend for a while with furries based on the whole, like, kawaii cute thing, but... There was a, there was definitely like a line in the sand of the fandom where there was like, the fandom. There was the line which was cringe, and then there were the furries. Like they'd cross the line way, way, way back uh, where the line was. Like they, they were so far off into the area of cringe that it's just, yeah, yucky. They got a bad reputation. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool, that I wasn't some nerdy loser. Elphus, Undyne, I, I really think you're neat, okay? Elphus, shush, shush. <laughs> Kirby! Elphus, I, I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've got to realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap! What I like about you is that you're passionate, you're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% at maximum power. This is actually exactly how I feel about my best friend, Carl. He's like one of those anime nerds who is he's watching One Piece, I think at the moment, and he's reading a bunch of manga as well. And he comes in to show me these panels and I'm just like, I could not care less. But let me know when there's some boobs in there. And then he comes in every time there's boobs and I'm like, nice. Yeah, Toriel was the main objective. Oh, true. Toriel was a uh, sexy goat mother, right? Newest CBA player. <laughs> Sans is better? Sans, hey, we, we, we're dating people. We didn't kill anyone this time. You'll be happy to know your brother is alive. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to me anymore. Elphus, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. <laughs> Undyne, you... You're gonna train me? <laughs> what? Me? <laughs> nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. <laughs> get those bones shaking! It's time to jog a hundred laps, hooting about how great we are! Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Uh, I'm dying, I'll do my best. Oh my god! She was kidding, right? <laughs> Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Anime's real, right? Anime is real, yes. <laughs> I knew it! Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come! Uh, thanks for taking care of Elphus. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later! And so we are left at the dump all by ourselves. Oh my god. That was a singular choice of words, Papyrus. I don't hear anybody shouting about how great they are. What the hell is going on? Partaking in worthless garbage fills you with determination. Okay, so now that I've done that, I go back to the lab, right? That's a thing. I, I'm supposed to go back to the lab and I'm supposed to talk to Alphys in the lab. That is a thing, isn't it? Ring, ring. If it isn't my good friend who trusts me, this is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Elvis and I finished our training early, very early. So I sent her home, very home. 
Uh, now, I feel strongly and for no apparent reason, you should also go there. To her! Lab! House! I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye! How can he have any feelings without a nervous system to distribute chemicals across his body? Just stupid! It's just stupid fantasy! Just stupid kid's fantasy! Alright, how do we get out of this place fast? I don't remember. Ah, perfect. Karen! Tra la la! Here for a ride? Ride in the boat? Yes, I would actually love that. Where will we be going? We'll be going to the Hotlands. You know that the first image of R34 about Undertale is Toriel? Oh, that doesn't surprise me whatsoever. Undyne is crazy one being K2 being Kobe. Three obsessed with anime and Dragon Ball Z and simps over Goku. What's wrong with this? Gara, what did I miss? Uh, we are going to do the true pacifist run. We've already beaten Flowey the first time. And we are kind of like stumbling in the dark a little bit. I read a guide this morning, but I, I am medicated for memory issues. So I don't remember a lot of what I read. Matt, I'm not good at reading. Like, I can read, and I can extrapolate data from, uh, in incomplete... I can extrapolate context from incomplete data, but uh, not so much, like, remembering exactly what the words are. I gotta play a game over and over and over again to reinforce the, kind of like, um, the, the theories that I develop. Alright, yeah, it's, it's, it's been good so far. We haven't killed anyone, except Asgore. Uh, I theorize that Kara's soul is currently inside of Flowey. Okay, we're going in to the toilet. It's an elevator. If there is no toilet at the bottom of here, then we can basically... Warning! Warning! Elevator losing power! M-Tether stability lost! Altitude dropping! We can safely say that Elphus has been going to the toilet in the elevator. Right? If there's no bathroom on that side. Elphus has been going, leaving her droppings on the elevator floor. Ooh! Why the hell is it so dark? And why would Pepperus have a good feeling about us being here? The hell is this? Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. So this is Gaster. This is definitely Gaster. So the king has told him to unleash the power of soul. Right? Truly a moment. Now I can tell you more lab stuff. No, no, no. Don't. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now, the souls of monsters. Gaster was the royal scientist before Kara came in. So, if there are no human souls, which we just found in this entry right here, they're using monster souls. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we'll have to use what we have now, the souls of monsters. Right? Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And, unlike the persistent souls of the humans, the souls of monsters disappear immediately upon death. Yeah, that's what confused me. But, hold up. What if... When... Ki Remember when Karen was ferrying us across the river and he said, humans, monsters, flowers, at the bottom. As if flowers was to make a point. What if... What if... What if growing the flowers is actually where they're harvesting the souls from? Because technically plants are a living thing. What if they're harvesting the souls from the flowers and that's how Flowey got created? If only I could make a monster soul last. Yes, if only. Entry number five. I've done it! Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. Alright, I'm suspecting something to do with Kara here as well. I feel like Kara was patient zero. When it comes to this. You know, before everybody died, I'm gonna go ahead. The true laboratory, ah. Vending machine. Buy chips for 25 gold. Absolutely damn well lootly. The vending machine dispensed some chips. What are these things? Let's take a look at them. Info. Popato chips. Heals 13 HP, regular old popato chips. That's hard to read. What's this? There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator, lost power. 
Enter the center door. That's all you can read. All right, power room. Can we go in here? No, I think we need to like light up four little icons, right? Only boss monster souls had enough power to st- Oh, right, yes, true. But maybe they were trying to like grow a flower who was very clearly a boss. Yes, to write some wingdings. I'll have to see that to believe it. You'll see how Fleo was created soon, besides human ones. Those entries were mostly written after Kara and Asriel died. Do you know this? Can you actually cite a source on this? Or are you literally just pulling uh, extrapolation from your ass? Entry number six. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. That's the, that's the humans. They're talking about the humans who had fallen down the hole. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? Ah, if their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. Why were they comatose? Is it because there was no food down here or something? Entry number nine. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? Wait, people! Is this before the barrier? No, it can't be before the barrier went up. So what do they mean by people? Because people is a, a human reference. Hmm, weird. What are these? What are these? Holes? Who knows? All right, you turned on the sink. You turned on the sink. Let's waste some water. You turned on the sink. Dog? Annoying dog? What the hell is that? Drew near. Ah, okay, so the first one. What the hell? Oh my god! Is chat bugged? Uh, no, YouTube just has some really strict auto moderation settings. They're just referencing monsters when they say people, I'm pretty sure. Monsters just call people to other monsters. Yeah, chat is bugged. I can see chat! I can see chat! It's in front of me at all times. That's the whole point of me streaming this. Item, but oh, your inventory was full. Oh, we get an item, okay. That's the dial-up tone, if anyone's too young to remember that. Oh, no! They grow! Okay, we got some big ghost faces, but nobody came. Okay, let's use a junk food. You eat the junk food, your HP was maxed out. Okay, more dial-up. So these are all faces that we don't necessarily want to be around, right? We just want to slip into the gaps. Yeah, perfect. Okay, but nobody came. Now let's get an item. The enemy put a piece of itself in your inventory. Good! Now I've got a piece of its soul, I can command it to do what I want. That is how demonology works, baby! Okay, we almost took a hit. We haven't taken a hit this whole thing, by the way. Now the chat on the stream is stuck. Oh, let me try and fix that. I think I actually know exactly why that is. I had to restart the stream because YouTube wouldn't show me the stream itself. So every time I go live, by the way, this is not a plugin. I have to do this manually every single time I go live. I have to uh, find the URL for the chat or the stream because it's never the same stream. Pop our chat. Copy that bad boy. And then I'll plug it into my streaming software right here. There we go. That's fixed it. So, yeah, perfect. Awesome. Yeah, uh, chat's going to work now. Yeah, YouTube cancelled my stream like twice. I don't know why it did it. Let's go ahead and... I don't want to fight them. I don't want to fight them. What item did they give us, actually? Let's see. We got... Some bad memories. You consume the bad memory. You lost one HP. That's fine. You consume the bad memory. So... Oh! No, this can't be the souls of the kids that were down here. Because they were all stuffed into the animatronic flowey. No, Asgore, sorry. Okay, let's go ahead and use another bad memory. We'll try and exercise them using that. What about cell? What does that do? You take out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun. I'm not particularly enticed, I gotta be said. Weird, creepy ghosts. It smells like batteries. Okay. Memory head is what they're called now. Right, so we've got to talk to them to know that. Do we join them? Do we join them? Those things are mixes of monsters. Okay, like a homunculus. Let's go ahead and try and refuse it. That's a shame. 
One of them said lorem ipsum, which is filler text. That's funny. Okay. I'm still dodging. They're, it's not a hard fight. Seems like it doesn't care anymore. Can I spare them all? Yes. Done. You won. We got zero buckery booze. The hell is that? There's a red key lying in the sink. You took it and put it in your keychain. That was, um, a little bit klepto of us. It's some kind of operating table. It's sticky. Ah, with blood or ectoplasm? Some kind of operating table. It's also sticky. What about this one? Some kind of operating table. This one is also sticky as well. We'll have to go now. It's pretty left me and I don't want to miss any days of my last year on high school. Yeah, don't miss your last days, I'm okay. You, you have a great time. You have a great time in high school. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Drain. Dropped it. That's all you could read. Okay, that's got something to do with the ghost we just fought. Click! The red key fits perfectly into the slot. Alright, so we've exercised our first ghost. We are the PT. We are the PT of this place. I don't think that would have changed, right? Has it? Entry number nine. No, nothing's changed. Australia's this... Oh my god, you can skip the text! Unfortunately, the downside of it is... You know, it, it's, it's a keyboard command. Okay, sorry, Tail. I didn't believe you for a second because I tried every single button on my controller and it didn't skip anything. Okay, so there is a plant down here. Maybe this is haunted? It's a fake plant. No, it's definitely not haunted then. So we've been down there. Does this open now? Yes, it most certainly does. Excellent. And we also have one of the icons uh, lit up on the door too. Entry number 12. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Weird. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. Yes? Is this a dog bowl? It's an empty dog food bowl. Is this for Toby Fox? Or is it for the people who used to sleep in this room? It's a fake plant. What about this one? That's also a fake plant. Okay, good to know. Ah, okay. Oh, right. So, I'm seeing that almost every single one of these beds is uh, kind of like all crinkled up, except for this one here, which is not made. Seems like a comfortable bed. Lie down on it. So that would force us to join the ghosts. Fine, bro, you should believe me on uh, my other facts, because I never cap about Undertale stuff. Yeah, but I don't know it's cat. I, I don't actually know it's cat. Uh, all I'm trying to do is figure out the plot for myself. And everything that I've figured out for myself so far has just gone against the commonly accepted, accepted head canon of the fandom. Clock's broken. Yeah, but at what time? That's important for a haunted place. Entry number 14. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. Okay. I'm not sh Okay, I'm going back on my theory about Kara killing Gaster. Maybe the other people who are here revolted against Gaster. Seems like comfortable beard. Lie on it? Yes. I'm gonna join them. You should lie down on the bed. I am laying down on the bed. That is either a ghost or an inverted stave. It's getting a boner. Dude, I am a child. That is a big boner though. Wow. Aww. It wasn't a boner at all, it was kindness. Okay, good. Hard to tell the difference most of the time though. Really, really hard to tell the difference. Hey there ma'am, can I help you with your groceries? Usually people just look at that and think, what, you've got a boner or something? Ah, mirror. Okay, we've got some flowers. Golden flowers. Golden fl Ah, so this is where Flowey came from. This is where Flowey came from. Okay. Maybe they were also, like, these ones specifically in memory of Kara, because... Asriel must have brought one back. Right? They're friendly. Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters. Just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Right, so that is what the boatman meant by flowers. Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever. They're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. I've noticed that these logs right here are all in lowercase. I would say something, but it's a spoiler. Uh, keep it to yourself for just a little bit longer. Sweet Jesus, what is that? Hi, you? I'm just really quickly gonna... 
Pray! You kneel and pray for safety. It remembers its conscience. What the hell is it saying? Cheats is enough. What is this? Is it gonna like fire them at me? What was that nightmare that it just threw at me? What if we mystify it? You did something mysterious. It recognizes it has more to learn from this world. Last look. This is your, oh, this time your last look. Oh no. Oh no. No. That's not so bad actually. All right, let's not fight it. Let's go ahead and clean it. You wash your hands. Nothing happened. That makes sense. Uh, something something my enough. I don't know what that just said. Hi, kids. Uh, what's your name? This is also 3D. It also breaks, breaks the constraints of the game as well. Pick on it? Okay, I'll pick on it. Let's pick on it. You pick on Reaper Bird. Reaper Bird seems to remember something. Someone finally gets it. Ribbit, ribbit, courage. Okay. Still very confusing. This still slaps, by the way. The soundtrack is awesome here. Reaper Bird seems placated. Okay, let's spare him. We won! Nice. Okay. So, there's another note in here. We need a key. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Cold! That's all you could read. Well said, note. Well said. Try going to the bottom right corner? Mixed monsters. What do you mean by bottom right corner? Like the, the bottom right flower? Golden flowers. Don't know what you're talking about. Oh, right, yeah, mixed monsters. So it is a homunculus. Okay, that's neat. You need to collect keys? Yeah, I figured that one out pretty quickly. Entry number 15. Seems like this research was a dead end. But at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore, returned the vessel to his garden, and I recalled all of the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow, smiley face. All right. Entry number 16. No, 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 no. Oh my god, this is a room? Okay, let's check out this place first. <laughs> I know that song. I know that song. There was a key in one of the beds. There's a green key lying in the bathtub. You took it and put your, it on your keychain. This place is haunted as hell. Yeah, it's super haunted. Okay, we'll go back to the beds really quickly. Actually, why would we... No, let's go back to the beds. I'm pretty sure that last area is supposed to be the last place we go to in this lab, right? It seems very final. All right, what was down here? It's a bed. Oh, I didn't know that. It's a bed. Oh, okay. It's a bed. Oh, newsflash. It's a bed. Oh, my. It's a bed. Oh, okay. Uh, this one has something in it. I can actually see it. There's something under the sheets. Check it out. Yes. Nice! It's a yellow key! Awesome! Okay, we've got the key the colour of piss. That's just so cash money. That is so cash money. Also, thanks, Kara, for the heads up. Entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. But then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. Is this Elphus? Are these Elphus's logs? Ah, this is the cold thing that that note referenced. There's a switch on the wall. Press it? Yes. Okay. What are we being attacked by? It had Flowey's laugh. It is a ball. That is... Okay, I am hoping that it has five legs and one of those is not like a dingling. Everything's written by Alphys? Okay, gotcha. Okay, let's talk to him. It's the Amalgamate! Amalgamate. Why didn't they call it the Amalgamate? Missed opportunity. What is that song in the background? I know that song. It's just like slowed down by a heap. Yeah. We don't actually know if they're all written by Alphys. Curse greater dog? 
Well, yeah, I think we could probably extrapolate that they were written by Elphus if we can correlate Elphus's like writing style or maybe even speech patterns because all of the logs that I have seen so far have all been in lower case. We know that Elphus did write a good amount of them though. Okay. Amalgamate! Beckon! You call the Amalgamate. It bounds towards you, flicking a strange liquid from an orifice. The orifice is showing! I see the orifice! Oh my god, that is a... That is a potent orifice. The Amalgamate is hovering close, looking for affection. Okay, let's... Wait, if we... Hold up, if we just throw the stick... You threw the stick and the dog ran to get it. You played fetch for a while. Endogeny is contended. Endogeny? Endogeny? Huh. You won! We got nothing for it though. Nice! Okay, none of these fans are like broken or anything, so I don't actually think there's any kind of like key here. The switch doesn't do anything. Yes, it damn well did! I can tell you that for a fact. Some of the logs have lowercase, some don't. Okay, I'll keep a better eye out for that. So the last place that we haven't checked out is this one with the gigantic mask right in the end here, which I imagine is going to be like the vessel itself, right? It's got to be the vessel. Okay, let's save here. That's not... Hi! Smells like sweet lemons! Lemon bread! We could scream! I actually see that it's got some muscles on it, so why don't we go ahead and just flex at it? You flex your arm! Lemon bread's muscle shakes! Welcome to my special hell! It's- it's lovely! I'm- I'm adoring it here! It's- oh, okay, so we gotta go into the missing teeth. Gotcha, gotcha. And then we gotta gap it out of the missing teeth, gotcha. Still smells like sweet lemons. I'm gonna go ahead and... Scream. You screamed out, but nobody came. Stay here with me. Is it the teeth again? Yes. Boop. Oops. Boop. And boop. Good. Okay. It smells like sweet lemons still. Let's go ahead and use a... A hum? A flex? Ooh. The regular one is definitely Alphys, and people think the lowercase is Sans, but the lowercase said they were working on Metaton. Sans is too lazy. Yeah, Sans is definitely too lazy. Sans also has a custom font. So I feel like if, if any of the logs would have been his, then it would have been in Comic Sans. We could scream again, we could unhug him, or we could just keep flexing. You flex your arm! Nothing else happened. Okay, so that's a bust. Let's try for the teeth. Boop. That gap right there, that was a clutch one. Nice, okay, that's not so bad. Let's go ahead and try cry. You cried as loud as you could, but nobody came. That does nothing, good to know. Hey! And, oh no! Oh, we took one. Boop. Okay, we need to eat some junk food, I think, because we are pretty low on health. Good, and we're probably gonna have to, s but nobody came. Oh! What in the devil am I looking at? Yuck! Oh! You hear the melody of pulsating flesh? Oh! It's hum. You hum a familiar tune. Lemon bread's body shakes. That's what they all say. What do you mean, that's what they all say? Okay, good, and we're gonna come in here next. Good. And here. Okay, wonderful. Uh, I'm gonna try hum again. You hum a familiar tune. Nothing else happened. Okay, fine. Do you think I'm pretty? No. I've got a girlfriend. I'm, I'm really sorry to be the one that breaks this news to you, but I, I do. I'm already seeing somebody. So we haven't called, right? Elphus might have been in a hurry writing. Why, why would he have been in a hurry? He was at work, literally doing whatever he wanted. Also, the logs are written, not spoken, so it's possible, even without the fonts. I can tell you've watched MatPat. Yeah, it, it shows, it shows. Sh Let's go ahead and try unhug him. You let Lemon Bread be. Lemon Bread seems to remember something. I've felt this before. What, isolation? Uh, why is it like candy corns? It's so wet. Could this be goodbye? Yes, it is. We won. Okay, we got zero experience and some buckery boost. What the hell is this thing? It's like a uterus. All right, there's a door up there. I'm going to read this log first. Hopefully it's a log. DT Extraction Machine. Status, inactive. What, Daytura? Daytura Extraction Machine? No wonder Alpha says the opinions he does. She does. It's a she. It's a she. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Under. Sheets. Already figured that one out. 
That's all you can read. Okay, click. We've got the yellow key in. Wonderful. This is a television. There are a bunch of VHSs. Seems like it's mostly cartoons of some sort. Right. It's probably going to be the same thing, right? Mostly cartoons of some kind? Yep. They seem to be alphabetized, save for a few astray. Sticky ones. There are a bunch of VHSs. Seems like it's mostly cartoons of some kind. They seem to be alphabetized, save for a few stray sticky ones. It's not like adult literature, is it? Smut. There's a VHS player with a few tapes picked out beside it. They seem to be labeled in a specified order. Will you watch one? Yes, tape one. Wow me. Psst. Gory, wake up. Hmm? What is it, dear? Uh, and why do you have that video camera? Josh, I just want to get your reaction. Gory, dearest, what is my favorite vegetable? Hmm, carrots, right? No, no, no. My favorite vegetable is edamame. Get it? This is Toriel and Esco, by the way. Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet. <laughs> now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Hmm, I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be... A Mamaranian! Oh ho ho! You sure are excited to have this child! You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous Mamedian! Well, I am going to bed! Hey! Come on, Tori! Th that one was funny! Huh. I know! I'm just teasing you! Good night, dear! Good night, honey! Oh dear, perhaps it is too dark in here for the video to come out. Yeah, you don't say. That tape is of Toriel and Asgore talking Toriel is pregnant. Oh, is that what they were talking about? I, I couldn't quite figure that out from the obvious surface level extrapolation that we were uh, using here. There's multiple tapes all about Chara. Okay. Uh, what time is it? Oh, guys, I've exceeded the amount of time that I can spend streaming. We're gonna have to get to this in the next episode that I record. Oh no, I feel like a blue ballsing everybody! These tapes would make more sense if your name was Chara. Keep watching. No, I've run out of time! I literally cannot watch anymore. I have to, I have to go. I've got to end the stream and I've got to uh, do the stream tomorrow. So, we're going to come back to this tomorrow. I hope there's going to be uh, more to do here. Man! Yeah, it's called a cliffhanger, my dude. I'm really, really sorry about this. <laughs> no! Yeah, I know. It's rough, isn't it? So... For the guys watching the VODs at home, thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Undertale, the pacifist run that I've made. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. Just down here, beside the D's nuts in the description of this video, is going to be a link to my Discord, where you can talk to me and my community at your leisure. And until I make the next episode, or you get to the next stream, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye!